What's up? This is Matt from Matty Moe's Arcade. I'm going to show you how to win at uh, some coin pushers. I'm going to play this bonus hole coin pusher. One of the um, main things that I like about this one is it has this skill stop button, which is right there, which stops the shelf from moving. <clears throat> now I'm just going to give you my basic uh, tips and tricks. These things, you know, they're, they're for amusement only, and nine out of ten times you're not going to win any money. You're just going to play for fun. But I will show you some tips. And I'm basically, I'll tell you this right now, anything that's on top of the play field, you, you can forget about winning. Most likely it won't fall off unless it's a, a keychain or a pocket knife or something like that. Then you can you can win it sometimes. But uh, one key, here I'll show you how it's, the, uh, that's the skill stop there. So you want to stop it when it's coming out like this so that it pulls your coins out and doesn't jam them up. And you don't want to do one coin at a time. I try to do a dollar at a time or a dollar fifty at a time. And you want to, you basically want to, you want to have a, a layer as much off across the, there as you can. Because then it'll move that whole playfield section across and you'll drop it as many as possible down here. Which gives you a much better chance of, of winning here. I'm going to go ahead and, and drop one, 150 at a time right now. And like I said, you want to wait till this thing is coming out. You can also spin the coins. Try to guide them into different places. And then when you get a good good roll, that's not that great, but let's see if we can see it. And then see how the push is. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we won a couple. So I got a couple of tokens here. Let's see how many we can win for that. I'm gonna do a dollar fifty at a time. Good little push. I dropped a couple. And if you can see there's a little hole, it's right there. That is the bonus hole. And it has a little cup on the bottom that's kind of off center. And when it gets full, it drops about 12 to 15 bucks. So it's, it's a nice little bonus feature that's on this machine that a lot don't have. I'd say we probably got about 15 bucks or so in, a, in this cup, maybe more. See how that goes. Oh yeah, that's a good push. Much better. Oh, some of the owner fell. Won't get a whole lot of second waves, and third waves on this machine. The way it's set up, that was no good at all. Now, if you see like hundred-dollar bills in here and they're laying flat, you can probably forget about winning them unless there's uh, coins on top of them. But if they're folded up with a uh, paper clip, there is a chance of winning them. I've won several myself by using this theory. The more coins you can get up there, evenly across, that was really good. Oh yeah, that was good, son. See if I can go a little bit, a little bit more than a dollar fifty. See how we do. See, we'll do two dollars. The two dollars a drop. Here at this arcade, our tokens are the same size as quarters, so that you can you can play with quarters or tokens. Oh, nowhere near as good as I thought. Still drop some decent coinage. Be nice to get that uh, bonus hole to kick out. 
I played it this machine several times on video, but I've never really given my strategy. If you can bring it, I just kind of played and let you see how it, how it goes. That ought to be a good push. Yeah, buddy. Almost had a second wave there. Just gonna push it on top. So I'm down to about half a cup, and a little bit less than half a cup. We do have Pokemon cards that are in this one, but uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that was a good push. I think I put those Pokemon cards in there about a year ago, year and a half ago, and I've never won one out. I play this quite often. Let's see here. About two bucks. Let's play Sydney. That'll be a real good push there. Yeah. You're very good. There's another coin pusher by my house that has $100 bills, $20 bills, silver bars. I've been trying to get up there to get a, a video for you guys. I was going to do the same thing, how to win up there. But show you how to win big money. That'll be a good one. Might have multiple waves on this one. Just one, one mediocre wave. It's a couple tokens. That's pretty good. Alright, we got two bucks left out of that. Ooh, that was monster. Decent. All right, now see what we want. Most of my cup back. So I only lost a couple dollars that time. That's not bad though. Let's go for one more round. Oh, that was a quarter. Looks like this right side over here has got a lot more to fall. Focus over there. Oh, 
though. Building up right there, you know. second wave on that one. Up on the drop token. Ah. That was a waste. Crazy good yet. That should be pretty good there. Oh, yeah, good one. A whole lot of wind. Get down a last few pushes here. About four dollars left or so. Want an extra one? I check this thing all the time when I walk by. There's always money sitting in it. Just falls when nobody's staying there. Time I did not wait at the right time. Oh, that was weak. So on my own advice, I told you. down to about half a cup so see it's not foolproof playing but it, it is keeping me playing it is entertaining oh, I might have another one push them off there nope to the house these side things here here and here when coins fall down there they just go to the owner so it sounds like you're winning but you're not That's not bad. And get beneath a fall though. Put in two dollars, get seventy-five cents. Be nice if I could get one of these cards to fall. Not really close. Good 
there. There's a nice solid row. Yeah, much better push. Ideally, that's how you want to do it. You at least increase your odds of winning one one at a time. Uh, I just want some free hands. Sure, one at a time, boys. This is how most people play. This doesn't do much. It's pretty boring. <laughs> Back to two dollars. Right, we'll have two ways on this one. thing you can do like this one's teetering wait till it pulls back and then just oh I'm so sure you just tap on the skill stop button usually you can shake it off of there We're about three bucks left on this one. It was decent. Uh, nothing on there. Last two coins. That was pretty good for two coins. Right, let's see what we got. down just a little bit more but you get the idea and that's that's the way I play you play longer you win more you definitely can use this theory to win uh, keychains knives whatever they got laying in there that's heavy but that should get you going thanks for watching